Ayan, good morning everyone! Magandang umaga po! Uh, welcome to The Daily Grind. Ayan, yesterday, I hope you learned a lot in our day trading seminar. Um, I hope you've watched it. Um, I was there also. Ang ganda, alright? Um, you learn the technical analysis being used on how to day trade, how how hard it is. Minsan may nakikita tayo parang, uy, parang higher low, ganito, ganyan. But if it goes out from your trading system, uh, you have to stop yourselves. And that's the secret of how these day traders, especially sila Jed, yung mga nas, tao na nasa loob ng eToro and are day trading already, are winning. Yeah, the, um, natatalo yan sila whenever they, yun yung FOMO na sinasabi nila, lo, baka umakyat na, pasukin ko. Tapos, dun sila natatalo if they don't follow their system. So, you have to be very patient and everything. So, I hope you learned a lot. Uh, sana, um, may oras pa kahapon, we could have done something na parang overview, parang reflection or anything. But I hope uh, you learned a lot in the video and start practicing if you want to make day trading your career. Ang laki po ng pera doon once you uh, become good at it. Right, so watch the video again if you haven't yet. Um, and dun po naka na highlight ko po sa Billionaires Club para makita po ng lahat. Um, it's in Itoro. We're trading in Itoro for day trading. Sa mga gusto marunong matuto mag day trade, I hope you've already created your account. Sa mga hindi pa ka nag create na account, there's a link at the video description para magumawa pa kayo ng account. Just use that link if you want to create one para makatulong po sa channel. That's why we're able to give out these sessions, these seminars for free because you're helping us in return um, just by creating an account using our links. Diba? So, yan. Um, let's uh, go to our comments. Um, I have a few picks for today. Nothing much up. Wala namang ganon drama sa PSEI. Still playing around resistance. Medyo pumula kahapon but we're still very near 8,000 levels. So, that's still okay. We're still poised to break out. I have a few picks for today na ito chart natin ngayon. Siguro mabilis lang tayo ngayon. We're not gonna be very long because I have things to attend to after the daily grind. Alright? So, let's start. And let me just uh, prepare the audio. Ayan. Comments, comments, comments. Yun. Okay, so... Hi, Sir Lloyd. Um, I'm not sure. Why not? Please stand by. Um, is the live okay? Okay, naman siguro. Hi, Sir Lloyd and Ma'am Apple. Sir, good morning. Air Plata. Joy Ligares, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Laika, good morning to my daughter, Laika. Um, Ronald Ray Tomay, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pa insights po kay Alco and JFC. Let's check out the charts of Alco and JFC. Let me go full screen para mas malaki on your end. Alco. Mm, pinabuday ko to si Alco eh, ba? Um I I recommended Alco here and there's this higher low here already. We have a new support right here. Pag nag-green 'yan, that's a buy for me again. You can buy Alco again. We have already we already have good price action. So far so good. Ganyan po ang position trading. Excuse me, when you do position trading, um medyo challenging yan because we are playing at the bottom it will take time for it to create momentum usually nagsa sideways pa yan before really going up but while it's not yet going up yun po yung sinasalo ko right so dun po ang position trading talaga naglalaro so it's taking a while for Alco to go up but i think it's still gonna go up we have good price action already i'm still recommending Alco Al Al Alco tuloy Alco <laughs> diyan pa rin yan um, Alco, next for Alco is under request here is JFC. This is again from Ronald Ray JFC. J um, laki na sell-off yesterday ah. Um, hindi naman siya sell-off talaga. But malaki na yung volume. Ang konti lang ng binagsak niya. So that's a good sign for Jollibee. That means kung may nagbebenta, may mga bumibili. Right? Marami pa rin ang bumibili kay JFC. So that's good for me still. This is a very good support around this area. This is still a buy for me around 215, 215 to 225. Yeah, and that's that's the buy area. I will recommend. But wag nyo po yung all in kagad. We are still we're st we're just seeing a a what they call a stabilization right here. Actually, tapos din downtrend niya, but tipa bumebelo. So this is already a good sign when it broke the downtrend. Um, this sideways movement is a plus already. Okay, and mm, 
pwede pa natin ano yun yan. Um, pwede na natin budaygahin dyan. And if it goes further down, just keep buying more. GFC, definitely a very good company. Sir Ben Moneda, hello sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning then. Air Plata, sir. Masilip naman po si Disney. Uh, Netflix. Oh, right. So, international market. Let's check out international market. Um, Disney. Disney, utuloy. Walt Disney, ayan, sa NYSE, New York Stock Exchange. Bagal. <laughs> right. So, Disney. Uy, maganda na. Maganda na price action, Disney. Right. So, this is a possible uptrend already. We have higher highs and higher lows. Right here. Market na yung, market na yung price action niya. It broke MA20 but recovered at MA20 right away. So, this is still good. Yeah, ito. Um, Walt Disney is starting to, to look well. Right? So, this is good. Um, ADSK. Ano yung ADSK? Ah, Autodesk. Right, very good. I don't know this company. Um, so fundamentally speaking, if you're asked, if you are looking for how to look at fundamentals in international market, try investing.com, investing, sorry, investing.com, right? Once you're inside investing.com, you just look for the company ADSK, right? ADSK, Autodesk, Incorporated, once you click on it. Um, makikita nyo po dito news and analysis, financials, technicals. Yan, makikita nyo po dyan. Just click on um, news and uh, news analysis, uh, financial summary. If you want to, makikita nyo po dyan yung fundamentals and the history niya. So, that's to help you in your investing investing uh, journey in the international market. Investing.com, very helpful uh, in your, ano, in your, in your tra investments in international markets. Um, anyways, uh, we are going to ADSK. Wait for time and pullback and bounce before we want to enter ADSK. Netflix, 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 Netflix. Yeah, Netflix Incorporated. Yon, nags stabilize na si Netflix. This is what I am, I was looking for. Pwede na ito. This is a good support for Netflix. I think I'm gonna be buying Netflix tonight. Okay? Thanks for this. Ano, sulat ko ito. Uh, bili ako ng Netflix tonight. Uh, this is already stabilizing and we already have a divergence. So, we are starting to see momentum for Netflix. So, that's good after this um, after this downtrend. Um, na break niya na yung downtrend niya. It's already starting to look, uh, starting to form a rounded bottom. I think this is gonna be good already. It attempted to do that breakout already kasi nga hindi nag-sustain but the support is holding and the supports are giving us more momentum. Netflix, good find. Air Plata, getting better. So, good job. Right? Ben Moneda, hello sir. Good morning. Morning then. Jerson Kayabiab, good morning sir. Um, good morning then. Jerson Kayabiab, CHIB. Morning, okay po ba ang CHIB? China Bank. Mm, so far, so good naman ang support ni CHIB. It's been doing well lately sa first quarter and second quarter earnings has been fa positive for even last year positive share. So that's good for the company. Um, we have volume right here, meaning there's accumulation at this area. That's why I am saying, yeah, um, you can test out the support of CHIB already. You're already starting to show good signs of CHIB. Walang gaanong momentum, but it's okay to test it out at the support for CHB. Um, nag-spike na yung volume niya. So meaning uh, nag-accumulate na yung mga tao. Good find. I sorry. Ang screen hindi ko na share. So CHIB ato po. There's volume already. Um, support is there. Um, 25, uh, 25, 82 area around that 25 pesos area. That's good, right? Um, we have volume spike, meaning accumulation yan, and it's been doing well for this year. So I think that should help CHIB go up and recover this year. Hopefully, market sentiments will see CHIB. Right now, medyo nahihirapan yung mga stocks, especially yung blue chips nga, nahihirapan. Ano pa kayo yung mga basura, di ba? Um, but anyways, yeah, this is looking well. Possible na itong bottom for CHIB. DD naman, so double dragon. Um, this is okay. I already recommended double dragon. Pwede nyo na po i- ano, um, budaygahin ito as long as the support holds. Um, test buy lang. Alright, test buy lang muna dito. We have possible support kasi here. That's why we, we, we tried to test this support. Pero 
overall downtrend kasi siya. So, konting ingat pa rin kay Double Dragon. So, what you do in Double Dragon is you buy some here. Buy some. Magkano yung budget nyo, hatiin nyo, nyo. If it goes further down, look for another reversal and then just buy more to average down. Uh, for sure, this stock is gonna go up anytime soon. Still very good company. Uh, si Double Dragon. MRSGI, MRSGI. Ayan. One of my recommendations isa na yun, um, nagsisimula na umakit sa MRSGI, meron na tayong resistance dito. So, if it does break out from that resistance, that's another entry point sa mga hindi pa nakapasok for MRSGI. I did um, uh, recommend MRSGI dito sa bottom. So, congrats sa mga nakapasok kay MRSGI noon. Starting na umakit. Bob Ryan, good morning Sir Lloyd, more from Qatar. Good morning po sa inyo dyan. Sir Pahabol from Air Plata, Microsoft and Amazon. Thank you. I have Microsoft and I have Amazon in my port right now. So, on the road to recovery tayo at my port, negative 26 tayo ngayon, but we are already reaching 5,600 almost. Nag-sell half tayo ng GWPH natin kahapon at around 8% uh, 8 and then bumaba, nag-pull back agad si GWPH. So, good sell doon. Um, Microsoft and Amazon. Wait, um, MSFT, um, MSFT. Ito si Microsoft, ang ganda long term eh. Kasi ang problem, um, wala kasi problema si Microsoft gaano. Even if there is gonna be trade wars. Microsoft is into software. Hindi kasi sila hardware. So, hindi kasi nila kailangan mag-made in China. So that's why they're not affected by the trade wars that much. Um, and all over the world, gumagamit ng Microsoft. So, no problem with the company. So, we bought Microsoft here at the support, yung pullback niya. And so far, so far so good. Um, there was a lower... Uh, this is the resistance and it did break out from that resistance but there's a secondary resistance here but price action I tell you this is one of my favorite price actions paakit na, pri na price action na yan. that is a buy for me right so this is the best buy area for for Microsoft so as of the moment nagsa standby pa rin tayo Microsoft highly recommended very good company si Amazon naman already bought uh, I already bought Amazon um, here, dito sa baba, habang nasa baba siya. So, I'm starting to apply our, uh, our technical analysis Amazon. Um, did a breakout, failed the breakout, and then umakit ulit. So, we are already gaining in Amazon. Breakout strategy for Amazon, nag, nag, ano na po siya sa, nag, fully breakout na po siya, and then we're starting to earn already in Amazon. Okay, so guys, this is international market. So, much better kasi ang dami yung options dito sa international market. If you're looking for funds, look for copy funds. If you are looking for um, uh, what you call this, uh, fund manager, pwede kayo maghanap dito for as long, low as $200. Or if you are a good trader, pwede nyo pong i-share ang skills nyo and kumita kayo um, on the side um, by uh, letting people copy you. So, um, and then pili kayo stocks, commodities, indices, forex, pwede sa uh, sa eToro. That's why I love this broker because of the so many options that it is giving me and I have full control of my money and everything is very transparent. Transparent. So I'm recommending eToro for you guys. I hope you've already created your eToro account. If not yet, please use my link. Pag nag-fund po kayo this September, this Monday, we're gonna have a draw. Um, we're gonna be giving out eight winners sa mga first time nag-fund ng eToro nila under me. So, yung mga gumamit ng link ko, yan, we're gonna be giving out 2,500 each for those eight, uh, for those eight winners that we're gonna be picking. Yung mga nag, uh, nag load for the first time, meaning nag, uh, nag fund for the first time in their account sa eToro this month. Alright, how do you register for the, for this promotion? Andyan po sa video description, my promotion registration link. Put, uh, click that, put in your name, uh, how to contact you, your eToro username, so that we, we can verify if it's under me. Importante po yan, gamitin nyo po yung link ko. Because that's for Financial Freedom 101 channel. Kasi, di ba? And then, yun. Um, make sure you fund. Pag nakapag-fund na po kayo, then you qualify. Okay? Again, the registration is under uh, under my under this video description. And the link also for registering on creating an eToro account. It's for free and you can already help the channel by creating an account. So, hopefully you can, um, hopefully we have earned that request from you. Tommy Escobedo, good morning po, Coach Lloyd. And, 
all viewers, good morning, Tommy. STV Trader, good morning, sir, and Laika. ISM, IRC, and ATN. ATN is in my picks for today. Si ISM, nag-gain kahapon, no, around 2%, so that's okay. Um, so far, so good for ISM. Maganda naman yung price action niya. Um, I'd say yes, just st um, st ISM starting to go hot and hotter um, because of the... Ayan, palabas na ang dito, right? That's why it's getting hotter. Um, I don't think this is gonna do pullback anymore, but if ever it does, then that's better, right? But if it, um, that's the thing, we don't know. We, no one can predict the market. So, if ever hindi mag pullback at hindi kayo bumili ngayon, baka mas mahal nyo na mabili. So, just buy some now. If it goes further down, then buy more because that's gonna pull your average even lower. That's okay, diba? So, I strongly recommend that for ISM. It's really hard to catch it right now for trading kasi medyo naglalaro sa taas. Um, and then, IRC and ATN. IRC. IRC. Mm -hmm. So far, so good for IRC. Starting to create a support right here. Pag na green yan, most probably is a good entry point for IRC. Uh, ATN, covered kayan later. So, we're gonna go to my picks later. Around 8.40, we're gonna start already because um, hindi ko pwede magtagal today. Ben Moneda, sir, may I ask your insights about okay, tech and sir tech or sir tech? So tech, uh, we check we checked out tech um, yesterday. Uh, we used ME twenty as our support. Sadly, hindi nag continue. But so far, so good. Um, this is a very strong bottom for tech already. If you see this, this is momentum meaning konti na lang ang nagbebenta, and there's already buying starting. So we have good volume spikes already for tech. Yeah, Alright. So overall, this support is strong for tech. I think that's gonna, that support is gonna hold. This is the cut loss area. So mga nag MA20 na entry, um, if na hit niyong cut loss niyo, please follow your rules, follow your trading strategy, follow your cut loss. Wag niyo sa ong yung tanong sa akin, Sir Lloyd, baka mag mag okay pa ba yan? Hindi ko ika cut loss. We can't tell. The problem there is, what if hindi siya mag sustain and mag hit dito? And laki na ng loss niyo, and um, laki na ng loss niyo. At, at pag malaki na ang loss ninyo, masakit na yung cut loss yan, magiging investor at maglo long term kayo dyan. So, follow your trading strategy. This is one of the picks, our picks that failed. That happens in the, uh, in, that happens in the stocks. So, if nahit na yung cut loss ninyo, 3% below MA20, if you used MA20. Um, what do you call this? Uh, cut your losses. Okay? So, it's a tech right now. We don't have a buy signal for Certec. So, I don't want to say it's a buy for today. Aries de la Peña. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. It's Friday Madness. Insights po kay CHP, ISM, and T. More power si T. Ang lakas ng climb ni T kahapon, ha? Ito talaga si T. Alright, so we're waiting for T for a pullback ni T and then bounce at the very least. Pero ang ganda na ng price action ni T. So I think this is gonna go, start going up already. We don't have a position here. Pullback and bounce. Much, uh, much better entry for T. Um, CHP Itatakot pa ako si HP kasi may mag FOOO to eh. Um, uh, uh, follow on offering pa to sila, di ba? Maglalabas na ng mga stocks. So, that's gonna make the stocks volatile. We are seeing lower highs and so, yeah, I think it's still on the downtrend. I don't wanna recommend that. Alright, si Benwa, good morning, Daily Grinders. Good to be back here at the comment session. Pabati here in Taiwan from Cebu to my wife, Hannah Grace, and to our princesses, Lian and Levine. Happy trading, everyone. Benwa, good morning to you and your family. Um, Hannah Grace, Lian, and Levine. STV Trader, sir, how to sell stock if kulang sa board lot? Is it under, uh, it is under Unitrade. Thank you. Alright, so hanap, hanapin nyo po yung ad lots, right? Um, uh, try to look for the an ad lot there. I'm not really sure how to look for it in Unitrade, but you can sell it in ad lot. Okay, Ketamine, good morning, sir. Ano ang mga undervalued stocks i bodega? Ano ang mga undervalued stocks i bodega? Um, open your call financial. If you have a call financial account, uh, open it and then go for uh, look for ano look for the yung mga nakabay ni call financial. Those are undervalued stocks. So, check them out and then hanapin nyo lang pinakamagandang company para sa inyo. Alright. Gone Freak, sir. Good morning po. May bago po ang Investa. May trading grounds na sila. Haven't checked it out yet. So, that should be good pag si Investa ang gumagawa. Jay San Jose, what happened to tech, sir? Um, stocks happened. Trading happens. <laughs> right? 
Ganun yan, right? It, it is never guarantee. That's why we always enter at the low risk position just in case it doesn't go to our desired direction. We always cut our losses, right? Natural lang yan sa stock market. Um, what happened to tech? Stock market happened to tech. Ganyan talaga yan. Um, so, that's why I always want you to really follow your trading plans because everything in stocks is risky. Know how to handle your risk. Okay? If it goes for down, then cut your losses. Simple as that. Vidgore, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Ano po possible movement on blue chips ngayon if poised to break out on PSEI? Anong possible movement on blue chips? Yeah, um, the blue chips are the movers. So, most probably, ang problema lang ngayon is nasa resistance tayo. So, um, medyo may hirapan yung mga blue chips na nasa taas na best to really go for stocks na nasa baba pa, especially the blue chip ones. Um, kasi yung mga nasa taas na may hirapan ang makit yan since we are still in uh, resistance levels. Okay. Gone freak, sir. MRSGI po. Thank you. We covered MRSGI already. Sir, gold po. Um, is it international gold? Diba? Um, gold. CFD. 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 Gold. Oh, gold. Alright. Gold. CFD. TGI, CFD, gold, 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 gold. Hanapin natin yung gold, CFD. Ah, ituro na lang na chart kami din natin. So, so far, so good. It's a gold. Right, um, load pro charts. Let's go to pro charts. And gold. Right, so. Para reversal si gold eh. Right, after Trump is saying something, it's especially overpriced na si gold. And sa, masyadong mataas na si gold. It's, it has been the, uh, it has been the most expensive it has it has become since the ano since for the longest time napakamahal na ni gold ngayon so we're expecting a good pull back for gold yeah this is a reversal it broke support so most probably it's a reversal we have lower highs right here and yeah um reversal lane kung gold kung you want to short sell gold i recommend short selling gold uh, if you want to short sell gold. Sir MRSGI po, thank you. Gold. Ketamine, Sir Lloyd, if you trade US stocks, saan ka nagbabasa ng news? What site do you recommend for fundamentals? Good question. We already answered that. Investing.com. Uh, very good um, very good site to catch um, headlines. Ito, investing.com. And then fundamentals ng mga companies in dito. So stocks, US, um, Hope, Boost Market, SP Flirts, and then po ang mga news international market. Ganda po dito. And then you can go for individual stocks here also investing.com ed duke good morning sir your insights on ps ferro sa pse pero ganda ng galaw ni ferro eh that's right so we for position traders that's out of position but i already gave you this ano i already gave you this um technical analysis pag nagta-touch siya ng upper bollinger band possibly there is gonna be momentum this is why we use bollinger bands and then there it is near, near ma20 jensen nagsimula and then lumipad for now this might go, still go up i don't know i don't want to know because that's outside my trading strategy um that's already high risk right there it might go up today who knows Right? But there's momentum in this. So, baka bumaba ito and then saluhin nyo sa baba, baka makyat. And day trading lang yan. If you don't know how to day trade, then don't mind this stock anymore. Huwag po kayo maiingit sa mga stocks na hindi ninyo nahuli. Okay? Don't focus on stocks that have already gone up. Focus on stocks na bumaba, bumababa. So, let's wait for this to pull back and then start the bouncing before we wanna enter that. Lift naman si USA. Si Lyft, bagsak ng bagsak. Eh. I don't know. I think nakapag-recover na si Lyft after a very strong drop. Nag-lowest to eh. Ayan. So, starting to recover naman si Lyft. But, still on a downtrend for me. Let's see if we can create a bounce right there and create a support before we wanna test out Lyft. Uh, medyo bigat ng bagsak ni Lyft eh. 
So, sadly, I don't want to recommend Lyft yet. RLB Holdings, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Your opinion sa mga buy price ng mga broker, if legit po ba? Nakahold po kasi JFC sa broker. Thanks. Nakahold po kasi JFC. I'm not sure. Um, ng mga broker, if legit po ba? Buy price ng mga broker? I'm not sure what you mean by that, RLB Holdings. Pero if you're looking for brokers, I mean, brokers na linalabas nila buy price, yes, I, I believe those are legit. Okay? Um, I'm gonna go to my picks really quick. Um, before we go to that, guys, yesterday, we had a seminar, uh, on a webinar with um, Mr. Jed Villardo, right? So, sa Billionaires Club, andyan po, naka-announce naka po, sorry. Naka-announce po sa Billionaires Club. And then, there's the video right there. It was pinned. So, sa mga hindi nakadalo yesterday, this is for free. Um, this is teaching you how to do, uh, what they call this? This is teaching you how to do day trading. At least, my idea po kayo. Watch it and learn from it. If you wanna do, if you wanna be a day trader in the future, you can do what these guys are doing. Team Itoro Pilipinas, here is the group I want you to, in, I want to invite you in. And dito po yung mga admins na mga traders talaga nag day trades. And this guy is feeding his baby, watching his baby while trading, Sir This is, And then with the system that we are following in day trading, these are their results. And makita niyo po yan. These guys are earning because of the system. So, very priceless. Uh, very pri uh, priceless video up there. So, watch it kung gusto niyo po matuto mag-day trade in the future. Okay? Um... Ano pa ba? Also, yes, this is in eToro. So, sa mga hindi pa po kuma, uh, nakangawa ng eToro account, um, I, st I strongly recommend you do because we do day trade in eToro. This is, uh, yung tinitrade namin is in eToro. Um, we just use a different tool for charting. Nagbabayad po kami ng premium for that. But we trade in eToro because of the CFD. And that's a very big factor for us. If you can, if you can, buy gold in CFD because to buy one unit of gold in other brokers costs around $1,500 right now. But here, because of eToro allowing us, empowering us na mga maliit lang ang funds, we can already trade in Ito, uh, we can already trade uh, gold here. Diba? So that's the beauty of eToro. So if you want to practice, you want to learn, um, create an eToro account, please use my link to create an um, eToro account and then watch this video para makapag-practice po kayo. Ma-practice niyo po doon sa eToro ang tinuturo dito. Okay, um, my picks for today, here they are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 7 for today. I'm recommending 7 for today. Sa so, mga hindi pa na pasok, and here are my picks. Andyan po sa comments. So, let's check out the um, picks. Una si Bicor, in no particular order. Um, siguro if you wanna ask me, sinong paborito ko ngayon, eh, ang paborito ko sa picks ko si STR. Alright, so Bicor, breakout, breakout strategy, we have volume spike, so that's good price action. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong price action na paangat ng paangat. And there it is. So Bicor already did a breakout yesterday. We talked about that. I, I told you it might break out today, then it did. Um, paborito ko ngayon, Star Malls, right? So, Star Malls, through this support, we have uh, we have momentum, right? This is the confirmation that we're looking for. Kaka-break niya lang po sa downtrend niya. There it is. It's already a buy for STR for me. That's a reversal signal for STR. LTG, LTG, one of my favorites. Then, MA20 bounce for LTG. That's a perfect time to test out LP, LTG. While nasa baba pa si LTG. Overall, nasa baba pa si LTG. So, yes. Uh, I want you to test out LTG MPI naman um we have a bounce for MPI right uh, so after this pattern right here that MPI has been creating we have a bounce at last so yeah that's the best bounce where you can catch MPI still um undervalued right now so pwede pa hambulin si MPI ATN naman we already have a support for ATN that's a buy confirmation for ATN so pwede nang bilhin si ATN AC today one of the blue chips i want to recommend since nap dito pa tayo sa solid support area ng AC. Yeah, AC is already giving us good signals to buy. Okay, so yeah, AC and then last DC, PNB, PNB, Philippine National Bank. Right, so just follow this uptrend line for PNB. Okay, um, kaka-break lang ni PNB sa downtrend niya and then there it is. We have buy signals for PNB. 
It's already a buy. So those are my picks for today. Siguro guys, we're gonna be stopping at around 9. Kasi meron po ako, meron po akong gagawin. So I'm gonna go back to your comments really quick. Um, JC Lazaro, good morning, Sir Lloyd Insights po kay ISM. ISM is still a buy now. Alright, habang mura pa po yan. Bilhin nyo na po yan ngayon. If it goes further down, then just keep buying more. Sir VUL po at X. Si VUL, nagdadalawang isip ako i- recommended but VUL already has a bounce so I'd say yes you can test out the support aggressively since low risk pa naman siya at that level of support we have secondary support MA20 but yeah VUL has good developments so I'd say yes um, you can try it out si X naman ayan nagantay tayo ng bounce ni X it might bounce anytime soon uh, that's for Mark Santarina good morning Boss Lloyd Ma may pag-asa pa ba MBT short term breakdown for support levels na um we're still at support levels, right? Hindi pa naman nagbe-break down ng support levels. This this is the initial support right here. So we're still there. Okay? Um if you're trading this for short term, if ever mag-break siya ng main support niya and then uh, your your cut losses hit, yeah, you have you can cut your losses. Ang recommendation ko kay Metrobank is Bodega, right? Bodega meaning you buy some here test this support if it goes further down just keep buying more this is a good company you won't go most probably won't high probability of not going wrong and just keep buying this company tulad ni BPI sabi ko sa inyo right these are one uh, some of the good companies you can start um, catching the bottom so bodega hin na po yun na po yan magandang umaga coach Alice Kabigting um, insights for, for KPPI BTC please si KPPI KPPI. Mm, so far, so good. Maganda yung price action na pinapakita ni KPPI. Pullback and bounce right here. Um, Still challenging for me. I still really can't... Uh, I still really can't... Uh, What do you call this? I still can't... Sa, subst substantiate this growth. Kasi itong, sub, uh, itong growth na ito is not really KPPI's value. Right? From the opening point to here... This was rumor based. Rumor based tong growth nito. Eh. And then KPPI rejected the rumor. So that means this value right here is not substantiated. Diba? But price action wise, maganda naman yung price action niya. You can follow this trend line if you want to for KPPI. I think that's okay already to buy. G. Fernandez, I bought Pfizer. I mean, meron pa pala si BTC and Bitcoin. For me, Bitcoin is overpriced right now all right so 10,000 but if you want to buy bitcoin this support right here if ma hit etong 9 uh, 9,000 levels in bitcoin that's the best time to buy right now according to the charts okay so it's already showing us lower highs na papansin niyo po yan so this is a this is a bearish signal okay horizontal line lang so, this is a bearish signal. Okay? So, that's for BTC. Medyo bearish pa siya ngayon. Uh, support to buy is the 9,000. If it breaks from that, so, uh, if it breaks from this downtrend line, yeah, you can test out and trade, try to trade uh, BTC. Ang problema kay BTC is very volatile. Pag nahit yung cut loss ninyo, walang kwenta. Kasi, mag-down siya ng 3% or 5% or 10% error risk mo eh, bababa siya na more than 10%. Then, pag nakat loss mo na, and magre-recover na naman siya because of its volatility. So, it's really hard to trade BTC. So, the best thing to do with BTC is, on the dips, you just keep buying more if you're a believer of BTC. So, these are the dips right here. This is the best time, best time to buy. Hindi kayo bibili ng BTC na nagahabol sa pag-aakyat. Okay? Unless you're a momentum trader, you're a day trader. Um... G. Fernandez, I bought Pfizer at uh, 37.50. Is it a good buy? That's a good company. So, as a company, that's a good buy. But let's check out the prices, uh, price action right now. No PFE. Right, so doing a pullback right now. Um, I'm binilimo thirty-seven fifty. Uh, if you just recently bought it, 
I don't think that's a good buy. I always teach you to go to pullbacks and bounce. Antay natin sa May 20. Around 36 would have been the best entry point for Pfizer. So, medyo naghabul ka nung pinasok mo si Pfizer. So, I cannot, I can't say that's a good entry. Becca Tangan, hi sir. Good morning. Pwede po ba pa-check ABS, LHC, and ISM? We covered ISM already. Si ABS naman, one of my, yeah, nag-break na na MA20. Yan yung sabi ko sa inyo, min, pinapahirapan si ABS for now. So, we're just waiting for ABS to do a dip again. We recommended ABS here. We did gain a lot. And then, sabi ko sa inyo, beta muna, di ba? Pag ganyan. And nag-break pa siya na MA20, so I can't say anything about it yet. LHC, we recommended that yesterday. Yesterday was the best time to buy. And there it is, lumipad na. So congratulations sa mga pumasok kay LHC kahapon. Sa mga ngayon na hindi pa nakapasok, um, wait na lang tayo ng pullback. Okay, sayang. Kahapon, recommend natin yan. Dapat kahapon natin pinasok. Rob Ligaspi, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights po kay GSMI. Also recommended GSMI. Um... So far, so good. Um, still a buy for GSMI. We still have good price action. Market pa rin naman si GSMI. Uh, very good company. Okay pa rin yan. No problem with GSMI. Pwede pa habulin yan. As long as you get in this uptrend line as much as possible. Um, asa na ako? Reyno, just no good morning, sir. Any internet recommendations sa nagbobo, nag, nagbo-board? Nagbo-board? Lagi? Thanks. Gusto ko kumuha internet. 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 Um, I don't know with your location. Ang, ang tendency kasi ngayon is, internet is, depende sa location. But if you can get fiber from PLDT and Globe, so far so good naman. Um, I'm using PLDT. Haven't had any issues since nagsimula akong mag-live. Right? So, baka natakot sila kasi, ano uh, tayo, <laughs> um, streamer tayo. But, fiber connection, if ever fiber is, um, uh, offered in your area, I recommend PLDT Swiper is good, right? Medyo mahal, but if you really need the connection, ay uh, yeah, yun po ang recommend ko for now. Then, then I'm gonna be testing out uh, dito if ever ma offer sa Cebu, okay? Um, Tommy Escobedo, coach sa case ng GFC, as in 50% loss na profit nila, base sa experience mo, how long po siya na recover Isa sa ano, isa sa ang nakakalaki kasi ng losses is they spent money in investment. So, investment naman yung ginagawa nila. So, for sales wise, kumikita naman sila. It's just that malaki ang expenses nila. Nakukuha kasi yun sa nababawasan kasi yun sa net profit nila if they spend. And they just bought so many companies. That's why ang laki ng losses na, na nakikita ninyo ngayon. But, these are investments. And you know, investments, masakit yan sa simula. But, uh, over time, it will gradually return and return so yeah i think jfc already has the experience uh, when it comes to the food industry they were able to make mang inasal um chow king fly so i think they should be able to handle how to uh, how to handle the the purchases they have they should have plans for this nila basta basta bibilin yan kung walang plano okay um i'm still invested in jfc by the way hello po sir lord insights po for ppg thanks ppg Right, so it's 8.55, bilisan lang po natin. By as long as there's uptrend, ah, masyado mataas na si, ano eh, si PPG. But if you still gusto nyo pa rin habulin yan, we recommended PPG at around this area. Um, gusto nyo pa rin habulin yan, just get in this line as much as possible. Sa so, Alice Coach Morning, I bought 15,000 shares, 5.12 meg yesterday. Ano po ang recommended TP? Cutlass po ninyo. Thanks po. Ang dami ah. Um, meg, meg, meg. Right, so Meg, uh, we recommended it yesterday. Recommended profits. I'm recommending it here. Bumagsak si Meg dahil sa Pogo share, uh, scare. And President Duterte said, hindi niya itutuloy yung Pogo. That's why Meg is recovering. So it should recover anytime soon here. Right? So that's where we are targeting, uh, starting to uh, look at the target profits. But you can start already selling at around this area and this area and lastly there. Cut loss po natin. Um, this is the current support. If you're if you want strict cut loss, that's your current support. Secondary support is here. Okay, Chris Canilan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, then Juvi. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. How about VUL, Meg, DMW, and Tech? VUL, we covered that already. Si Meg just now. DMW, si DMW, one of my favorite stocks right now. Um, 
Antayin natin yung bounce ni BMW. If that bounces, that's a support right there. Si Tech naman, medyo nag-break pa ng MA20. Eh, so, I can't recommend it yet. Edsy, magandang buhay. Maestro from Bahrain. MPI for Bodega pa until IPO on November. Yes, Bodega pa rin for MPI. Overall, still a very cheap company. Um, MPI, very good company. Isa yan sa mga long terms ko na pick si MPI. So, Jet. Jaili Villa Garcia, can I invest in PSE even though I live here in Australia? Or is it better if I will try like eToro? It's up to you. It, it really depends. Um, what is your purpose in investing? If gusto niyo po ang gains talaga, go for ano, international market, eToro. Um, but if you want to support local companies, yeah, you go for uh, and then at the same time gain, then go for PSE. Yan po. So if gains lang ang gusto niyo, if purely gains, uh, then go for uh, eToro. Liway Tomas, sir, good morning. Newbie pa lang po ako. Anong stock magandang bilhin today? Salamat po. Have a nice day. Kaka, kakabigay ko lang po ng recommendations ko. Andiyan naman po sa video descriptions ang, ang recommendations ko. Liway Tomas, um, yan. Ericsson PPG, we just covered that. Tech, already breaking MA20, so stay away from it. Morning, sir, Lloyd, MRC, please invite us. Robert Castletort, um, MRC. This is the best support of MRC. That's the best time. This is the best area to buy MRC. So far, bumababa naman yung buying. So, I think you can go back to support. Ambangan nyo po sa support sa MRC. And Vita naman. Si Vita, wait tayo ng next na pullback ni Vita. Alright? This is a good pattern for Vita. That was the buy signal. Right now, nak nakalipad na si Vita. Really hard to check it out. Let's wait for the pullback. Sana bigyan tayo ng pullback. If hindi, let it go. Uh, sir, ask ko lang po, ba one time ka lang bumibili ng stock sa international market paano pa if gusto mo i-sell yung kalahati para ma-protect yung gains i just sold uh, yesterday ar di ba um we are uh, we entered this stock together si G GWPH tingnan mo um 300 na lang ang hawak ko sa kanya this was previously uh, 600 so kahapon nag 8% si GWPH it took profits uh, let's check out the history Alright, so yes, so nag sell tayo, so we gained um, 8% at $24 kay GWPH yesterday. So what you do is you click the stock and then click on this X. Itong X na ito, may lalabas na close trade na option. Meron ditong tick box, close only part of my sell. If you click on it, there's gonna be an option that will come out. So automatically po naka half yan. So I have $300 right now, di ba? worth of um, GWPH and pebenta niyang 153, that's 1.07 units because I have 2.15. So, kitna ng 2.15 is 1.07. So, kalahati yan. And then, you can lower this to sell ko ang $100 worth ng stocks ko, that's 0.7 units. So, then, close trade. So, yun lang, um, portion of your stocks ang mabibenta. Okay, that's how you sell half um, air. Okay, so... Uh, that's it for today. Pasensya na if it's gonna be a short episode for today. It's already 9 in the morning. Meron po ako importante na asikaso ngayon. Pasensya na. It's a Friday so konting ingat lang. Baka magka-sell off but I don't see. That's why you always play with stocks na nasa baba. Right? Focus on stocks na nasa baba. You are much better off that way because if the stock is cheap and then we're dealing with probabilities. If the stock is cheap, then the probability is it will already go up. And unlike the stocks na medyo mahal na, mas higher ang probability na mabumagsak niyan. That's one of the rules you need to think about in trading. So focus on stocks that are very cheap right now. That's it for today. As always, let's get rich together. Bye everyone. See you next week.